Hey, do you ever go into the shops and see those chains and think, boy, they just look like everything else, kind of boring, not very scary? Well, here's something that you could do to those chains, adding some bars and some spikes. This is done with some pink foam and cellulose clay. So let's show you how it's done. These particular chains come apart, and so decide on how many bars you want to elongate your chains. Here, use popsicle sticks to signify how many bars are going to be needed. This project needed nine of them. These are about 13 inches long, and they're cut out of two inch thick pink foam. And then draw two inch diameter circles around every side at each end. This is going to signify the link part of those bars. Draw a center line at the one inch mark, two inches wide, so one inch, and that'll keep you from veering off course when you're starting to whittle these things down with your hot wire knife. So the arrow is to sig signify which flat end of the link. This is kind of a twisted bar. And so that keeps me from cutting the wrong side off. So curve your sides around. So you're starting to get that link look to it. And then about a half inch in from the edge and you see that center line that's keeping as a guide, you're gonna carve away, but then cup away from the bottom link. So you're starting to see your bar being formed. Do that for the other side. All right, so you see how the link is on one side and it's on the other side. And then redraw your links uh, because you start losing track once you cut these things off. Same thing for your center line. So you have a nice straight bar. And now do the same for the other side of the, of the link. So half inch in and then cut your cut down. And then remember at the bottom link to cup away. redraw the center of your circle of your link there because now we're going to plunge cut and actually make those links. The hot wire knife is pretty cool for this kind of project. But start cutting around and being careful not to cut all the way through because that'll suck. <laughs> but start just kind of carving around so it looks like this is a forged tool not something that you cut out of uh, pink foam. So the whittling away is a good look. So don't be afraid of doing that. And then at the very edge, cup that down. And make sure your link fits in there still. If not, make it a little bit bigger. And now take away the square edges of the bar by just chopping away the corners that are sticking out. Hot glue your links back together again. You gotta hold that in place while that cools. And now we're going to be making some cellulose clay. I made it in batches of two ounces of cellulose clay to four ounces of water. The cellulose clay is, it's pretty awesome stuff. It's really tough once it dries. It, it's like cement. So this is a great uh, tool to use in your prop building if you haven't used it yet. Pre-portion these out. I think these are about 30 of them. So you had consistent sizes of the spikes for your links and roll it up into like a fat caterpillar shape and then feather it onto each side of the link. re your fingers if you have to and then make a little spike. Just did uh, the spikes on every other link to keep the workload down. Plus thought it looked actually cooler that way and um, it's starting to look pretty scary now. They were actually pointy and sharp and used a, a spray gun to blow some flat black paint. Also used some uh, rubber gloves to help kind of squish in the paint in the links. It's hard to spray all the way around. And this is how it looks when it's dried. And you could keep it this way, maybe dry brush some silver and some rust and you're good to go. But these are gonna be used in a fluorescing haunt. So need to paint these in fluorescent colors. So let me show you a palette that you can start making for yourself as references. These are different blends of different fluorescent colors. So looking at this under regular light, you can see some good bronze colors, but fluorescing, sometimes it changes. So make sure you look at that under fluorescing light. And here the bronze and the rust look like two colors that I think will look good on these chains. 
So now we're gonna mix those up, and it's a pretty easy process. It's one part red to two parts green, and mix together. And now dry brushes as thoroughly as you can. Uh, when this was done, it looked a little subtle. Here's the rust coming on. And so you may want to go a little brighter. For our, for my haunt, I just wanted it uh, just to be a deterrent to keep kids from walking to this one section of the haunt so it didn't need to glow. But this is how it looks when it was done. Looks pretty cool. I think it's a good improvement on regular chains. These just look scarier to me. And as you know, scary is the goal. <laughs> Let's see how it looks under regular light. All right, well, cool. See, it still looks good under regular light. So, uh, yay, that's a win there. Um, this didn't take too long. It takes a couple of days for the cellulite clay to dry, so bear that in mind. Oh, a relatively quick project. Let's see how it looks in the haunt. <laughs> Again, subtle. You might want to. You might want to go brighter. Well, anyway, thanks for watching, everybody, and uh, take care. <laughs>